How to make a killer multiple choice test question by Academy of Learning Career College. This video will show you how to make one of the most common test question types, the multiple choice question. First, let's break down the parts of a multiple choice question. Check out this example. This is called the stem. It's the initial statement or question that requires a response. These are called alternatives. They are the different response options to the stem. One of the alternatives is the correct answer. It's the right response to the stem. While the rest are called distractors. They are incorrect responses to the stem and serve to throw off the unprepared test taker. Great, you may be wondering, but how do I make a killer multiple choice question? Here are 10 tips to use as guidelines. Number one, be sure to present a clear question or problem in the stem of your test item. You want to make certain that a test taker who knows the subject matter will be able to answer correctly. Number two, don't introduce new language. For example, if the course refers to horses as horses, but then the test question refers to stallions and fillies, which are types of horses, the test taker will be unfairly confused. Number three, whenever possible, avoid writing negative stated stems. For example, which of the following does not mean a male horse can be rephrased as which of the following means a female horse and will generally result in test responses that better reflect what has been learned. Number four. If you have many multiple choice questions in your test, vary the position of the correct answer. The easiest way to do this is to shuffle around the alternatives for each question after you've created the entire test. Number five. Keep the alternatives a consistent length and format within the same test item. Generally, we have a tendency to make the correct answer longer, more detailed, and more complex than the other alternatives. Test takers pick up on this and tend to select those longer alternatives as a result. Number six, all the alternatives in a test item should be plausible and mutually exclusive. Carefully chosen, credible seeming alternatives will help you confirm that your learners have grasped the finer points of what you've taught. Number seven, Limit your use of the alternatives, none of the above, and all of the above. These are lazy alternatives and generally frustrate test takers needlessly. Number eight, consider presenting a chart, a reading excerpt, or a short case, and writing a series of questions in which test takers have to interpret what you've presented in order to select the correct answers. These questions are more difficult to create and unsurprisingly, can be the best kinds of multiple choice questions for assessing learners. Number nine, proofread. When you are done creating your entire test, run through it, or better yet, have a trusted colleague take your test. It is easy to make small errors when we create a test, and it is also easy for those errors to totally undermine test questions. So try to catch them before you accidentally frustrate your test takers. And lastly, Number 10, throughout your test creation process, remember that your goal is to find out how well your learners have achieved the objectives of the course. Your goal is not necessarily to write challenging questions or a hard test. A well-written test question is difficult for an unprepared test taker and simple for a well-prepared test taker. And that's how you write a killer multiple choice test question.